Okay, so I have two different trowels here. This one's a flat trowel. It's the most common type of trowel. And this is a curved trowel. Um, this one's less common, but I actually use this one lots. And I'm gonna give a few reasons in this video on why I like a curved trowel and the type of applications that I would use it on for drywall finishing. Okay, so this is the job site. It's kind of still how I left it in the last video. I still have some things I need to catch up for the first top coat, um, but I did already do down in the staircase. So this is how I do my staircases. There's really no other way to do them, but it's actually safer than it looks. So this was from another house, but I wanted to put this in here just to show the difficulty of reaching over top of a lot of staircase designs. And there was no other way to reach this area, but it's also a lot safer than it actually looks. And I did these back rooms and in the back rooms, so I already ran the eight inch. And then I coated the corner bead. And then on the beveled sides of all my corners, I filled all those. It's just something that I do myself. I don't think really many other people do that, but it doesn't have to be done. It's just optional. Um, I, I, I like to do it. It just makes it easier when I run my angles and I'll show that in a, in a video coming up here soon. It just makes it go faster later. So I, some of the time that I spend doing that, I get it back later on. First, I'm just gonna quickly coat the ceiling. Okay, so I got all the ceiling caught up and that's the first reason that I like the curved trowel is it makes quick work of all the joints. And I showed that in just the previous video doing these joints. The next reason is on corner bead. So first I'm going to use the flat trowel and I'm gonna show you kind of what that does. So you see the depth, that's the depth of the flat trowel. Now here's the curved trowel. Now because it's curved, it naturally just leaves mud behind. Oh, of course, just when I'm filming, I get a little thing like that. Okay, do this again. So when I put the mud on, it naturally leaves way more depth on the corner bead. So you get fuller corner beads. And when you wipe it, because it's curved, this side naturally feathers out the edge for you. So it's kind of like training wheels trowel for a corner bead. Now the other place that I use it is on my butt joints. So what I do on my butt joints is I come down, or up I mean, each side and then I kind of feather those edges and I kind of feather the center out. And again, same thing like with the corner bead, because it's curved, it's naturally leaving a nice depth of mud 
on both sides of the butt joint tape, which helps, um, just helps coat the butt joint. And then on the next pass, I'll just go down the center and then I'll take the flat trowel and then I'll do a polish coat. So that's how I do butt joints. So the one problem with the curved trowel for butt joints is it does make it into a three-step process. Um, whereas with a flat trowel, you can do it just in two coats for the top coats I'm talking about. Um, so that can be a problem. If, uh, for small jobs where I wanna get everything coated in two trips, then I'll use the flat trowel because I can do it in two coats. But for a big job where I'm gonna be here for you know, more than two trips to get the top coats done. Then I'll just use the curved trowel and then I just quickly do the sides and I just go around quick through the sides and then the next day, the middle and then the day after that, then it's just a tight polish over top and all my butt joints, I think they look great. So anyway, that's, that's it for this video. Catch you in the next one.